What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Flicking on My Big Tarot, here where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truths. I'm your spirit guide host, Miss BC, and today, you guys, we are back with another general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, please understand this will not apply to every single Sagittarius, as every single Sagittarius is not going through the same situation. Cross watchers, anybody outside the Sagittarius energy, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in, but please utilize this information to the most positive purpose. Spirit, tell me to talk to you. I will be talking to you guys with two different tarot decks, my Angel Romance, as well as my Light Sears tarot deck, okay? All of my information will be in the description box below. Without further ado, Sagittarius, yes, I am talking to you. Y'all... Last but finally not least. Ooh, that one flipped out. Y'all seen that? That one flipped out. Okay. Let's see. Codependency. Oh, hmm. Stuck on someone. Someone stuck on you. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. You're addicted to something. Wonder what it is. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. You're addicted to getting money. I always call um, my Sagittarius's um, the people that's literally high off life. Like literally high off life. I feel like, but it's like you're attached without being detached it's so crazy i've been having everybody has had a crazy reading tonight every single body every single body has had a crazy reading tonight and i feel like this is going to go out with a bang so i feel like you're addicted to money you're addicted to whatever it is that you do plus whatever your side jobs are because most of you all have side gigs or something that you do on the side, you all are heavily into something or uh, you got a couple of things that you're into and you just stick to that, you know? Yeah. So I feel like you don't have any options or you don't feel like you have many options in a situation, hence why you're codependent or somebody is codependent on you. There's a lot of codependency here. And I feel like you feel like you don't have an option. So when it comes to family, so your relationship, you know, you all tend to departmentalize. I know how Sagittarius are. Sagittarius have a habit of de literally departmentalizing their relationships. So when they're at work, work is like one place. And um, it's like literally work is one place so you go to work home is another place you go home you know when you deal with your side jobs that's something else like it's like um let me see how i can describe it it's like in the movie belly for anybody who saw the movie belly um he had a girl and no that's not a good example this is a situation where it's like you have a whole family, but nobody would ever know that this that you even had a family because you're usually at work or you're showing off whatever it is that you do. If you're into dogs, which a lot of you are, um, you're, you're heavily into your dog. You're heavily associated with your animals or whatever pet or a lot of you all are into guns or into dangerous things, you know. Well, that could be potentially dangerous, but, you know, most of you all are into things like that that may cause that to happen. So, you know, you all are protectors of the Zodiac. But I feel like when it comes to home, you're attached to somebody. And it's like, I'm your wife. I'm your girlfriend. But you act like we not even together. And it generally happens with home situations. I feel like you're really, really, really stuck on the past. Um, I feel like Sag is you're you're stuck on something of the past that has to do with family. Your family has you really like you're stuck there. 
And you're stuck emotionally. You're passionate and you're emotional. I feel like, but you have, you feel like you don't have no option. And I feel like when it comes to family, it's like, this is my family. And that's, I mean, this is my family. And I just have to be happy with that. I have to be okay with it. But I feel like you're only there because you feel like you don't have any other options. Like you built a legacy and you built a family, but it's like the past, you're just stuck there for whatever reason, trying to balance your life, trying to find harmony. Um, but, but stuck. I feel like you're indecisive about something. You're trying to make it, you're trying to make a decision on your balance and on your harmony. Like I'm trying to pick up on the energy of this re and it's just kind of all over the place. Like I get all over the place. I get all over the place. Like, I get all over the place. I feel like you, you've lost creativity, like you've lost enthusiasm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're in one way balanced. I feel like you're balanced when it, you're balancing your checkbook, you're good with your money, but you're codependent on another situation. It's like, I can hold the, the house down. It's like, I can hold the house down, but I, I still wanna cheat on you. And I still wanna do everything outside of this. Like, I want you to be my wife or my husband and I want to go out here and just do the things that I want to do. And you can't decide on what to do, whether you should be happy or whether you, I don't know. I feel like your family is coming. You about to get some good news. I... I don't know. This is a very confusing type of reading for me. Because I feel like in one way, you don't feel like you have any option when it comes to family. It's like, I just get like all over the place. Like you're in the past, you're living in the now, you're over here, you're bouncing around over there. I feel like you're into so many different things. Like, I feel like you're into your hobby. I feel like you're truly into your hobby. Like you're 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 going this way, you're going that way, you're getting your money over here, you're getting your money over there. Dogs. You're doing something with a dog, you're around a dog, you train a dog, you like a dog. You stuck. Like you have a whole hell of a lot going on. Stuck in the past over over something that was hard for you to bag a lady, you gon' miss your bus every time this car comes out. Uh, what is going on with y'all? Like, what is going on? What is going on? Mm, 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 mm. Listen. Yes. Um this is crazy. Sad. I don't even know. Um, an unfair advantage and not really bringing your ideas like what this is just crazy this is all over the place this is it's like a settled crazy it's like a a high it's like I just get like paranoia 
effects of paranoia or just like I get like a just a just I just get like this I can't really sit still you know just like an addict is what I'm getting like an addict that's exactly what I'm thinking about this is like an, an addict somebody who's just all over the place they over here they over there they doing this they doing that they just They're like all over the fucking place. They're like, you're like all over the place. They're all over the place. You're all over the place. Like I get an addict, you know, the addict effect, effects of an addict. That's what I want to name this. Hold on. Effects of an addict. Yeah, this is a crazy reading for me. This is like the effects of an addict. Like, it's like, I don't feel like I have, uh, I don't feel like I have an option but to be in this happy home. But I'm still like stuck in the past, trying to balance, can't make a decision, not really enthusiastic, but I'm researching and I'm getting good information. You know, I'm good news, but I'm also, I got a lot of shit going on that's burdening me. You know, I feel like I got an unfair advantage at something and my ideas are just not being brought to the surface. I just can't see, like I'm just moving, just like an addict. This is like somebody who's high on drugs and can't control their life. Codependency, they stuck with somebody that they not really with. I'm with you, but I'm not with you like a crackhead. Like crackhead vibes is what I'm getting. Unfortunately, it's just that type of vibe. Like I'm not trying to be funny, but it's like somebody who's literally high and like an addict. Like this is crackhead vibes. Is what I'm getting. But, you know, I love my Sagittarius. Y'all like some of my favorite people. You all are in the top three of my favorite. Actually, you all are in the top two of my favorite people. And um, I love you all so very much. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. And you know what's funny? Leo also is like my number one favorite sign is Leo. And then we have um Sagittarius like I love the Sagittarius energy and you two it's fire you know what I mean it is it's fire both of you all are fire signs Leo is my polar opposite sign but they're also your brother sister sign as well you know which is pretty cool but yes um last messages Walk away and be strong about it. There's strength in walking away from something or somebody. I feel like you're thinking about it. You're thinking about being strong, about walking away from something. You just want to walk away. I don't care if it's unfinished or not. I just want to walk away and I want to feel good about it. If you want to, you will. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. All right, Sag.